Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly love reading for December 6th through the 12th. I hope everyone's well. I do want to go ahead and remind you guys that this is a general reading and may not resonate with everyone. If you would like a personal one-to-one -one reading, there are directions in the box below. Simply email me at that address and I'll be happy to get that set up for you. I hope you have subscribed to the channel. It does make it a little easier for me to pick up on your energy because it's a um, transference of energy there. But um, So if you haven't already, go ahead and, and subscribe. But we're going to pick up Virgo on your energy. We're going to get the energy of the person you're connected with. Um, whether you're in communication or not, we'll also get the energy of the connection itself and the outcome at the end of the week. And then we'll pull a few of the lover's oracles just to kind of sum up the reading. All right, so Spirit, can I have the energy of Virgo for December 6th through the 12th, please? Virgo, please. Energy of Virgo. So Virgo, we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. We have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. And coming out together, we have the World, Death, and the Emperor in reverse. Okay. All right, so it looks as if there is some kind of a cycle here in love that is ending. It is either a relationship ending or a cycle ending. We see that here with the Ace of Cups in the reverse um, and with death in reverse, or a death, and then also the World card. So for some of you, this is going to be cycles ending. For some of you, this is going to be a relationship that's ending. And I do feel as if um, there was a certain level of control that caused this ending. Um, for some of you, um, the ending of the relationship, for some of you, there was somebody who was very controlling that may have also, um, maybe ending that cycle of being overly controlling. Now, with the emperor in reverse, this indicates to me that, um, for some of you, there's a situation that is ending, and there is new love that is trying to come in. It has not come in yet, um, but if so, it may be a divine connection because we do have the emperor in reverse. And so it's almost as if waiting for both of these, the emperor and the ace of cups to come into, um, into the upright. Um, I do feel like though there is a situation here that you've, you've just given up hope on. And so you've ended something here because you just gave up hope. You're ending one cycle in order to begin another cycle. And so for most of you, I do feel like um, there's an ending of a connection here, but not everybody. Um, let's see the energy of the person you're connecting with, Virgo. the person that Virgo is connecting with. It's way too many. Okay. All right. So that's interesting because you have both the emperor and the empress here in reverse. So this may have been a, uh, a false twin flame. Um, so the person you're dealing with here, I do feel like um, that they they may have had some in and out energy here. Um, for some of you, this is a false twin flame. When you have the emperor and the empress both in reverse, that's karmic um, presenting itself as being a deeper spiritual relationship, but it, but it is not. Um, you know, I do feel as if you know, the person that you're dealing with here, they may have a, had a lot of in and out energy. They may have even been something of a player. If they weren't a player, they definitely had, you know, they were hot and cold in their energy. I feel as if this person also did not recognize the value and the worth in, in either themselves or in you. Um, and so this situation, they feel as if this situation is not growing either. Um, there's a feeling within this person that this situation is not as abundant as they would like it to be. 
And I feel as if they are kind of getting over it because you, they also have the Nine of Swords in reverse. I think they struggled with this for a while, but they're kind of getting over it at this point. Let's look at the energy of the connection. It's almost as if the both of you are kind of, you know, getting over this. All right, so we have the Queen of Wands um, for the energy of the connection. So the Queen of Wands speaks to action. So there's a lot of passion here. Um, and the person that you're dealing with, Virgo, is passionate about you. Um, but I feel as if the Queen of Wands, there's a lot of um, passion in this connection. I feel as if there is also, um, there's, a, there's been a lot of action in the past, most likely from the feminine energy. That doesn't mean uh, male or female. Whoever's carrying the feminine energy, I feel like they, they were the one providing most of the action here. Um, but the, the connection is definitely passionate and there's some, there's a movement within the connection as well. Um, let's see, um, what the energy of the challenge is. What's the challenge to this connection? The palace of swords. So truth, um, being able to find a, a, you know, truth and communicate that truth accurately and honestly. Um, so it may be communication that needs to take place within this connection, or it may be that, you know, there's a truth that needs to be spoken here. What is the outcome at the end of the week? And this is within the home. So, um, this is most likely somebody that you have had a long distance, not long distance, a long-term relationship with, or, um, somebody that is within the home. All right, so at the, the outcome, we have the Queen of Coins in the reverse, and we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like um, at, by the end of the week that you're kind of getting over this. They're getting over, they have the Nine of Swords, you have the, or you both have the Eight of Swords. But I feel like um, both parties are going to be kind of getting over whatever is taking place here. Um, however, that being said, we do have the Queen of Coins in the reverse, and so Virgo, I think this is going to affect you more than what you're willing to, to really admit. Um, I feel as if there may be a sense of loss here, and there may be a, a, um, a loss of financial stability as well. The Queen of Coins um, also can indicate the um, married queen, so there may be an ending to this connection that we're seeing on your side here. Um, but regardless of the fact, I feel like both of you are kind of getting over it because there's a sense of not, not being concerned about it. So if there is loss here, if there is loss of finances, loss of stability, um, you know, I feel like you're just like, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not, I'm over it. I'm, I'm done. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Cups. So there is a sense of apathy here with regard to a connection. I feel like somebody's not really um, valuing or appreciating the connection. That could be you, it could be the other person, it could be both, but that's underlying energy here. So let's look deeper and see if we can understand what's going on here. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Virgo? Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, and we have the Fool. Yeah, so this is new love that's trying to come in. So. I feel like you're giving up hope on one situation here, Virgo. You're, you may be putting an end to that so that you can start a cycle with someone else. Um, there's a desire for you to give your love to someone else in a brand new um, connection. With the Fool here, we have um, taken a leap of faith in a brand new direction. So this Ace of Cups is trying to come in. This new love is trying to come in. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, so it's a situation that in the past you, Nine of Wands is um, clarifying the Nine of Wands, by the way. You haven't walked away from this situation in the past because you were trying to do the right thing. But I feel like you're just slowly giving up on it. And so, you know, you've, you've remained in this connection because you wanted to do what was right. You wanted to, to keep balance within the connection. But you've just given up hope. And I feel like you're just in a situation now where you're like, I just, I don't even care. Um, 
And I do think that there is a new love that's blossoming here for you. And if you don't know about it, you will. Um, all right, so can I have three cards for the, the energy at the bottom? I feel like this is somebody, though, that you're aware of. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so this was a, definitely a karmic situation. Um, and then we have the Four of Coins. So this is a karmic situation that you were waiting or you were holding on to. I feel like you just didn't want to give up on it. I feel like you couldn't walk away from it. You wanted to do the right thing. But at this point, I feel like you're recognizing that it's a karmic situation. I feel like the love has kind of run out on it. Um, you're not feeling the same as you did. I feel like this situation is going to come to an end. And I feel like, you know, that you you were holding on to it because you thought it was a, a, a bigger spiritual connection. And now you're discovering that it, it's not. So I think you're getting a new perspective on this. I think you really held on because you thought this was a deeper spiritual connection, but you're realizing that you've learned some karmic lessons here, and this is a karmic connection. Now, when I say that, um, a lot of people are like, oh, the karmic, and they're so awful, but karmics are here to teach us lessons, and they're very they're very important, and it's not a, it's not a bad thing to have a karmic connection that's where we learn some of our lessons that we need to learn prior to going into a spiritual connection. So I feel like you've learned some lessons here, Virgo, and you know, something that you once were holding on to, now you're releasing. Um, why is the Knight of Wands here with the person that, okay. All right. Okay, so the person um, that you're dealing with they may be running hot and cold, and so I think that it's because they, they've they made a decision, and they kind of want to come back around with this, this connection. They're still holding on to this connection, and they want, they want to keep the connection together. I do feel like sometimes that they will disappear for a period of time, or they won't talk to you. Um, they kind of pull back within themselves. But it's because they they had a decision to make as far as whether they wanted this connection or not. They decided that they do. Um, why is the Empress in reverse here? Yeah, so this person may have um, some conflicts about whether or not they, they want to stay in the connection. But I th feel like they decided that they do. Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, we have the Lovers in reverse, and we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so it does look like this is a relationship where two people are not seeing eye to eye. Um, I feel like the person that you are dealing with, like I said, this is a karmic relationship, and I also feel as if they're not really um, feeling as if this is growing, but, you know, they... They're holding back their love. They're holding holding back. They're not really giving the love to the situation. And then they're wondering why it's not growing. Um, this may also be a person who has an overinflated sense of ego and could also have um, a drinking problem. Not for everybody, but for somebody out there, you need to hear that. So that may also be inhibiting this person. There may be some kind of... Um, you know, drinking problem or just um, some arrogance that's within this person, and they're not really they're not really giving their love to the situation, but but then they seem confused as to why it's it's ending. Um, okay, so why is the Knight of Swords okay? And there we have that Knight of Wands again. So again, you know, they have that in and out energy, and for some of you guys, this is a player. Um, and it's, it couldn't be more clear. The relationship is not moving forward. We have the chariot in reverse because of the in and out energy. So this person seems confused as to what they want. Um, you don't seem confused at all, Virgo. You seem like, you know, there's something on the horizon for you. You're wanting to move in that direction and you're ending out old cycles. Um, but this person is trying to, trying to act as if you know, they're, they're unbothered by this situation. 
and they may be. Um, you know, they have this hot and cold energy, but I do see that they, they're they still holding on to you. They do want to, you know, reconnect with you. They want to come back in from the cold. Why is the Queen of Wands here for the connection? Okay. Trying to figure out where Spirit wants the cards. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have the three of coins in the reverse. We have the two of coins in the upright. And then we have the five of swords. So, yeah, things are moving forward. Um, there is movement within this connection. I do feel like, you know, there has been passion in this connection. Um, but there's decisions on both sides being made. Um, I feel as if you're you're deciding, Virgo, that you no longer want to cooperate with this person. There's a feeling that you you don't want to work work on this. Um, for them, they have conflict, but again, we're seeing that that sense of arrogance here, that sense of almost a narcissistic air here, and so they're they're deciding if they want to fight for this connection. But it's it's all about them. It's all about their wants and their needs and so i'm seeing a little bit of a, a an arrogance in their in their you know behavior in their their energy why is the palace of swords here oh ace of swords and the hangman so yeah i couldn't be more clear the challenge here is to have a very truthful honest conversation um, in order for both parties to to really gain a new perspective, um, I feel as if I feel as if um, the honest communication is needs to come from you, Virgo, and I feel like the person that you're dealing with is going to have to then have a new perspective on this connection. Um, so I feel like you're being called upon to initiate this conversation. Um, but both of you need to engage in it. I do think that there's going to be some conflict when you do so. Um, can I get three cards for the outcome, please? Three cards for the outcome. Okay, so we've got a little more. All right, so we have the six of rods in reverse, and we have the death card. Um, for them, we have the Hierophant in reverse, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, I feel as if um, there is, I don't know if this is going to happen by the end of the week, but where this is headed is that I feel as if, you know, there is going to be an ending to this connection. Virgo, I do feel like that you may be the one putting an end to it, um, but I don't feel like you're going to feel that, you know, you're not going to feel really great about it. I feel as if you almost feel a sense of defeat here. Um, you know, so you're you're being guided here as well that if this is a connection that's ending, because you have the death card twice in your energy, um, that you're going to need to do a lot of self-care here, all right, in order to elevate your energy again, um, your vibration. For the person you're dealing with, again, um, we see an ending here with the Hierophant in reverse, but this person is going to try to present themselves as being just fine with this. They're going to try to present themselves as being, you know, I'm, I'm looking good, I, I'm single again, I'm happy with this, you know, I have all the abundance. Um, so I feel as if this person that you're dealing with, they... They kind of have a little bit of a narcissism about them, and they don't really, they're not really sharing their feelings honestly. Um, so, and that may, that may bother you a little bit. The truth of the matter is, Virgo, they actually would like to come back together with you. But I feel like this person gets in their own way. Um, they actually do. They, they get into their own, their own way. They're hot, they're cold. They're not offering, you know, love in a proper way. They're hiding. They're, they're wearing a mask. Um, and I feel like you're just, you've given up on this situation. I feel like you hung in there because you wanted to do what was right. But at the end of the day, you, I feel like you're going to put an end to this so that you can start a new cycle 
um, with someone else. And if you don't know that person already, and I feel like you may, um, I feel as if, you know, it is going to come in for you. So, bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So, getting over it, moving past it, moving past any kind of mental um, hang-up that you have with this. So, let's go ahead and get some Lover's Oracles to finish out the reading. Lover's Oracles for Virgo, please. Lover's Oracles for Virgo, please. Here. Alright, so Virgo, you have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Well, there it is. So there's that conflict ending for you. Um, there is no right or wrong here. It's all about expanding and learning. Now, the person you're dealing with has two cards. The first card is, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point to trying to change that which is beyond our control. So your person is being guided to accept things. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in the mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. And there we see again this person putting, you know, wearing masks. Um, they don't want to really show their emotions, but spirit is guiding them to accept things here as they are and to discover what is really in their heart, not to intellectualize it. For the connection we have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So there is definitely, this, this looks like a karmic uh, connection, and I do feel like you went into this connection thinking that it was a spiritual connection. You've discovered differently, Virgo. And I feel like this is just Spirit's way of saying to you that you've, you've also learned a lot through this, which is the purpose of a karmic connection. So take what you have learned and move forward. All right? So I hope this has been helpful to you, Virgo. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And be sure that you like and share the video. Drop me a comment because I do read all of your comments. Until I see you next time, namaste.